Hello, all you imps, pixies, and other fine fae folk. It's me, Michelle, the Hobby Hobbit. This is a channel where we play with different kinds of arts and crafts things, but we are master of none. To those of you who have just wandered across my channel, I would love it if you would consider giving me a like and a subscribe. It helps my baby channel grow. To those of you who have subscribed and come back, hi. How are you? How you doing? Welcome back. Right. Um, I have a link or lots of things in my description box. I have links to channels to inspire, links to channels to support, and links to Etsy shops and product I like. Aaron at my scrap cabin shop has graciously gifted us with a 10% off code. Simply use the the code Hobbit10 and that will get you 10% off. Do note if she has a higher discount in place, don't use the code because you'll get a higher discount. Yeah. All right. Um, Etsy does not allow you to stack uh, coupon codes. That's why. Okay, so I have been thinking, you know, it's time while well, I'm doing my little bit of reorganizing here. I'm still waiting on stuff to come. Um, I've been kind of going through and seeing, okay, I've got a bunch of, I finally got a bunch of scraps and things. So I've been making a couple things from them. So like I have a bunch of cardstock, just this white standard cardstock. So I taught myself, well, I remembered Julie from Camellia Craft Designs doing this and so I was like I want to see if I can figure this out so I did so I made some cute little uh, matchbook notebooks yeah really cute yeah I've also made some cute little ticky tags from off cuts and things that didn't quint quite print right so I've made some of those just showing you what I got. This gave me an idea for something that we're going to do. I may or may not have seen it on Margaret from Seven Plaza. I think I saw something similar on hers, but we'll do that another day. Today I want to work on these. So I have cardstock. That's been, these are off cuts. These are little bits that I don't really need. Um, actually, that would be perfect for one. Those might be nice for one. These are just little um, bits of cardstock that I don't necessarily um, think I will use. So I want to make these matchbook things out of them. This may be too thin. I think this is going to be way too thin for us to make any use out of it because you're not going to write much. So we're going to hold those for something else. But I reckon this will be okay. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to this. There's no real right or wrong. Um, I'm going to pull out my chopper and I'll pull out my little score board if I can grab it. Um, then all you need is literally something to ink with. If you want to ink, you'll notice that some of these I inked, some I did not. Um, something to ink with your scoreboard, which you don't even have to have. Honestly, I don't think I scored these. Um, and then some kind of scraps that you're trying to get rid of. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so all I'm going to, and you know what? No, I'm not going to use my scoreboard because it didn't work for me. I just did this. I just folded this up and then I folded this down so it would meet part way. And this gives me the size of what I want. Yeah, so that's that's how I measured it. I just cut a, a cut a strip, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna fill the inside bits. I know I've got some. Yep, I got some of these right here. We're just gonna cut some of these down to size, um, which I think we just need to cut this bit off, and then I'll probably cut it in half. They don't have to be super filled. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that much off. And then we're just going to cut this. Uh, that looks about half. About like that. Yeah, that worked out pretty good. Now we're going to check. It's a little bit wide, so I'm going to take a little more sliver off. Just a tiny more. A little dabble, do ya? Just another little bit off. And then, well, yes, yes, it does. Okay, 
So we're going to set this aside over here. Um, something I did want to mention is I did use some washi tape on the back because I do use a stapler. And so we want to make sure that nobody gets themselves cut on the stapler, on the staple. And that didn't even go through all the way, so we're just going to push it in. And then we're just going to pound this down. Maybe. Maybe it'll work better if we, yep, if we just push it. Push it real good. Do, 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 do. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this over to the back. To the left, to the left. And then I'm just going to do a couple layers of this over it. Just because I don't want anyone hurting themselves. And I guess that's a dead washi tape now. Huh. Yep, that's a dead one. Right. Now we're going to have the fun stuff here. Now we're going to do the decorations. Yes, we're going to do some decorations. Okay, I do want to clip that little bit that's showing off. Okay. Um, That was really loud, you guys. Right, I have some of these fun little off kits here that we could do. Uh, I have... You know what? Let's do one with music sheets. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to literally trace around this because I want this to be like this when it closes so it's one full sheet. Um, and then we can just ink or do something along the top. We could put just some of this blank stuff at the top when we cut this off. So we're going to bring our little snipper, snapper, cutter, doohickey thing. Our Tim Holtz Ionic Tonic Tonic Studios. <laughs> I always want to say Ionic. Um, yeah, so we're just going to lay this on here. And I'm going to mark there. And I'm going to mark actually I like this side better. So we're going to mark I like that side much better. It's much more interesting. We're going to mark there. And then, and then, and then we're going to mark there. Okay, so let's get this bad boy cut. There. And then, there. Let's see if this did right. Yeah, yes. Yes, queen, yes. Okay, I want to keep making sure that my microphone's picking up because I've been having no end of troubles with that. I still have not um, brought my two that were charging in my bedroom with my multi-station. I haven't brought them back in here. So I'm swapping back and forth between the, this one that I've got. Okay, now, this, I'm just going to cut this right here. Let's just see how much of this shows. Not a whole lot, so I'm just going to cut that down some. Oh, let's go a little bit long. I'd rather cut it down too much and then have to glue over it than not enough. Does that make sense? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? You're picking up what I'm laying down, dog. You feel me? Okay, that looks nice and interesting right there. Mm. Okay, if I do that, that can go right there. Oh, come on. I hope you guys can see. I hope you guys have had a good day. I just got back from visiting my mama in the nursing home. And I told her that I think if she keeps up with her physical therapy, I think she can come home Friday. Because she can walk to the bathroom safely now. And I think she can come home Friday. So I think that made her feel good. And then tomorrow, oh, I cut that just a bit too short. But that's okay, because we're going to ink. We're going to ink a dink it. 
so I got this thinking that this was going to be a brilliant solution to my anchor problem. Yeah, apparently I thought I had more anchors than I do. So that's not a brilliant solution to my anchor problem. And I have a Mr. Marvel. Oh, let's do this in the Scorched Timber. This is my new favorite, you guys. Now, which one is the Scorched Timber? That's the other problem with this is I don't have these marked yet. So it's a lot of guesstimations. Now, I know it when I see it. She said unconvincingly. What the heck? Is there another one missing? Because I know I had it. There it is. Right. Let's get this out of the way. Move you over here. You. Okay, so now we're going to do some inky ink. We're going to ink it up. We're going to ink it up. We're going to ink, 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 ink it up. We're going to ink it up. Oh, uh, ink it up. Uh, look at this. I just love this color. It reminds me of charcoal. It's like a wooden. No, Jeffy, you've already been. You don't need to. Marvel, what you got that you don't want him to have? What is it, Marvel? Little turd. Yeah, before I forget, the wheelchair in Mom's room is Mom. Okay, sorry about that. My brother wanted to come down and talk to me because of me taking my mom to the doctor tomorrow and let me know about her wheelchair. Apparently, it is in her room, not one for the facility. I thought the facility had one in her room. I didn't know that, so that's I'm glad he told me. I'm really glad that he told me because I would have been looking all over for that. Okay, so all I'm doing here now is just going around and inking what I want to put on here. And I've just realized that I still need to cut this in half. So I'm going to ink this and then we'll slice her up. What was I saying before you came down? Oh, this, it reminds me of charcoal so much. It's got like that tiniest hint of green. So it just, it really reminds me of charcoal. I really like this. Marvel, no. Jeffy. Marvel quit. Marvel, stop. Go see Unky then if you don't want to share. Oh, he's driven. I'm just getting driven crazy. That's all there is to it. I'm just being driven crazy. Okay. Okay, what the heck did I do here? What did I do? I thought I had that measured. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. That goes on there. This goes on here. This goes on here. Oh, what did I do? I cut that wrong, is what I did. I cut that wrong, you guys. Well, shoot. Okay, well, we're going to have to do a new one. Daggone it. I don't think I have another one that's big enough. We have two. Well, take two. Okay, excuse me just a moment. Okay, we're back. 
so since I boogered that one up, let's do this. We're going to use a bit of this um, wild British flora and fauna thing. Okay, so what I want to do is I need to cut it this way. Oh, we, we can do this. Okay. I need to cut it this way. So, there. And there. Take two, you guys. This is why we don't edit this stuff out. So you guys can see that mistakes happen. I am far from perfect. Like so far from perfect, it's laughable that anyone would think that I think that I am because I know I'm not. Right, okay, so that's gonna be there. The top is gonna tuck in, so we want the top to be the longer piece. Okay, so that's gonna go there ish okay now let's really ink and ink this I almost want to round these edges but I don't think I've done that on anything so I don't know how that's gonna look This is an interesting color effect on this paper from this book. This is the, uh, it's the one Julie uses all the time. Um, Camellia Craft Designs. It's the a Victorian um, flower album is what it is. That's what this is from. Okay, those, right. Now this is going on top. I have made something that is so simple into something that is excruciating to watch. That's pretty much my norm. So if you guys are new here, if you like long, excruciating, painful videos, <laughs> welcome aboard. Nice to meet you. I'm Michelle, the Hobby Hobbit. Okay, so these are Sugar Bell bottles, Sugar Bell bottles, and um, I have washed them accordingly, so I know what um, glue is in them. If it is a yellow stripe with a yellow cap, it is the Laneco Line Co glue. If it is black, it is art glitter. If it is red, it's the Michaels Creatology brand. And if it is orange, it is the Elmer Super Strong liquid glue. Yeah. Something I have learned with these Sugar Bell bottles is you want to just very lightly, very lightly squeeze because these come out and pour fast. Well, maybe. You just want to really lightly do it. And I find that if I kind of tip to the side, I get a thinner line that I can control a little bit easier. And this is way too much glue for, for this glue, for this project. But it's kind of, it is what it is at this point. Because this Lineco, Lineco glue sticks fast. It does not take much at all. In fact, that's probably too, well, I know it is. It's too much, but that's okay. It's okay. We'll work with it. I cut that really bad, didn't I? We'll work with it. Okay, so then the bottom half...
Bottom half is going to go there. And it really, I promise you, it does not take much for this glue. I don't know if you can see just how little I've put on there. And that's going to be more than enough to stick this. I do have this glue linked in my description. Just look for glue, glorious glue. Because that's where she's listed, y'all. Okay, let's go ahead and... These scissors are just really cheap scissors. I'm not using my Tim Holtz new ones for this. Because I don't want to ruin them. Okay, so we've got that there. That matches up. Now we need to do... I just really kind of want to put something there at the top now. What if we just did this little music thing that we didn't get to work before? Or is that just too funkity? Yeah, that's too funkity. We can put some of this. Yeah, we're just going to ink that up and put that there just so that we've got the same color. Oh, we'll try about there. I'm going to concentrate on the bottom parts and the edges. And then we'll glue it on and then we'll cut it down to size. Yeah? Yeah. And then we'll ink her up. I have turned what's a five minute, literally a five minute project into a 45 minute torture session. For that, I do apologize. That's again too much glue. So I'm just buttoning this right up against the other one. Because it's not going to be seen. It's just going to help hide the fact that there was white there from the uh, cardstock. Okay. Now we'll. Okay, now we need to find something that we can put as a latch. So let's get our little Timmy things or our little labels. These are little Timmy's and these are little Timmy labels. Um, green, do I have anything green in here? I doubt it. I don't think I'm gonna have anything that's gonna match. That kind of blacky gray wouldn't be bad. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, I like that. That big O honking thing here. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's going to be nice. Yep, that's the one we're using. So we're going to ink around it. Ink, ink, ink. Ink, ink it up. We're going to ink it up. Choo, choo. Whoops. We're going to ink it up. We're going to ink, 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 ink it up. We're going to ink it up. Okay, so what I do here, I am going to line this up. We're going to put it on the way we want it to go. And then what I'll do is I'm going to glue the bottom half of it. Yeah? Because the bottom half is what's going to stay, and then the top half is going to be the little closure. So I'm going to grab the top and then we're going to drop a little bit of glue on. And then what I'll do is I'm going to close this up again and scooch that kind of where I want it to be. Oh, yep. It just grabs. So there's no more getting it around. So now we have our little matchbook notebook yeah okay so that was one torturous process let's see if we can go a little faster now yeah <laughs> and I thought, there it is these um, little caps that I put on these I 
Julie from Camellia Craft Designs, their um, iPad pen or iPen tips for the stylus. Really inexpensive. Like, I mean, really, you don't, they're reusable, so you don't need many, but I ended up, I, I bought them in blue because y'all know I like blue. And then I was like, huh. And I searched and I found some in all the colors that I wanted, so I had to buy those too. So I may or may not have gone a little bit overboard um, when I bought them. Maybe just a little bit. Yeah. And I've, I've actually sent some to June. So, yeah. Good times were had by all. Okay, moving right along. All right, let's make a let's make a chunky monkey one, yeah. It doesn't need to be this tall. You know what? Nothing's saying that it can't be. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do this. What I'm doing here is I just want to make sure that it's got enough that it'll tuck down. Okay. Now I'm going to get my bone folder out because I want to make sure that this thing folds right. And stays nice and flat. Because my next step, since this one is a big one, I want to make sure it's even all the way around, yeah? I really need to get a new one of these mats because I've warped this and I can it doesn't want to do anything straight anymore okay so we're just gonna take a sliver off here flip her around and take a sliver off there uh, measurements so lengthwise she ends up being three and three quarters yeah the top part ends up being two and a half ish. The bottom part is two and a quarter ish. So that gives you kind of an idea of where I folded it. So the overlap is probably um, right at an inch. So there we go. There's, there's those measurements. Okay, so let's get paper to put in here. Uh, Let's see what we can come up with with this. Okay. Oh, that's almost perfect. And nothing says they have to be all the same size. Let me get you trimmed down some. You're going to fit in there. Actually, you need to come down just a little bit more. Trim it down just a little bit more. And then we want to come just a little bit less than this. Um, yeah. There, I could actually use that in it, too. Let's get you... We will cut you a bit straight. And cut you a bit straight. And then, and then. It doesn't have to. Be perfect, you guys. They can be different lengths, different sizes, different textures. We're just having fun with it, y'all. Yeah, yes. Yes, we're just having a little bit of fun. Get you there. Spin you right round. Mm. Yep, that's going to look good there. Ish. And then we'll, maybe, okay, one, two, 
two. be a bunch. Get you scooched over. Or not. I don't want them all kind of the same. So we're going to bloop them. Right. This stapler, you guys, I got on Timu. It's one of those ones that if you figure it out right and can do it right, it does that. Okay. Wait a minute, there they are. I may or may not have stapled that in a little crooked, so we're just going to do some cleanup here. Because it's a junk journal. Didn't have to be perfect, right? Okay. Um, I kind of want to do this grumpy world map. Is what I want to do. I want to put this grumpy world map on here. So we're going to do that. But I'm going to do something different this time. What we're going to do... Where did I put it? Okay, so that to there. Okay, and then to there. Let's see if I can find those marks again now, because I doubt it. I seriously, seriously doubt it. Okay, we said we were going to make this nice and easy, didn't we? And here I am complicating matters. <sighs> okay. Okay, if I go here, I'm going to do it just a smidge less so that... we can see some of the inking that we're going to do around the edge. Right. You can go back in there. Now, you are up. Since you are up, we're going to do right about there. And then we're going to continue that to about there. That's what we're going to do, y'all. If I can find my marks again. There. And there. Put you back in there. Now... We're just going to ink it real quick. Nothing super fancy. Did you finish eating it? Huh? Yes, you did, didn't you? Mr. Growly Boy. Yeah. Mr. Growly. Okay, you can see I'm not being very careful with this at all. Now what I want to do is I want to lightly dust over the top of these creases where I've crumpled it up to give it even more definition. Oh yeah. 
She is nice and grungy, y'all. Who had the day off? Not me. I worked. But I can't complain because, like, my, my last job, we were only closed three days a year. So, be, having six holidays, I'm like, yeah, baby. I'm okay working President's Day. Right. This is the bottom one. And we want to make sure we put it the right way around. What the heck did I do? Oh, it's cover. Okay. And then, yeah. I just want to make sure I've got it facing the right way. That's all. All right. Using Lineco again. We're just going to grab a little bit. It really does not take much of this Lineco, you guys. Seriously. That will be enough to hold it and hold her securely. Ooh, just like that, she's grabbed. There ain't no more moving her. Okay, since I was so awkward in the first video, I don't think I'm going to do um, three of these because it's getting late. I've been up since six this morning, and by drive time, it's an 11 hour day. So I'm just a little bit tired. Woof. The heck did I do with that cut? Holy cow, that's horrible. But I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's a junk journal. It doesn't have to be perfect. She reclues it after she says it doesn't take much, but I wasn't pressing it. I didn't press it down in time. Oh, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, I just cut a hole in that. That's okay. It, it is what it is. We'll just make that part of the charm of it. Okay, so what are we going to stick on here? Um, well, I know I want a bigger bit of Tim Ephemera than that. Let's see. Well, I think a stamp would be appropriate, don't you? Yes, yes. Since it's a map, let's use a world stamp. Dun 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 dun. Yeah? You picking up what I'm laying down? You feel me, dog? Okay. Top, bottom. I do tend to put a little bit more on the closure part because I want to make sure that it sticks. And then I always do that to make sure I didn't glue it in. Okay, so let me see how long has this been. Yeah, we're at 38 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. Let me know if you'd like me to try and do some more of these. Um, hopefully a little bit better <laughs> next time. Cause I got a bunch of scraps and things and I got a bunch of scraps. So I have no problem doing that. If you guys want to see it, just let me know. Right. So what we did today is we did this pretty little troublesome one. Just like that. She just slides right on in. And then we did our, our map, our crinkly map one. There you go. Let me know what you think until next time. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.